sorry for the lighting i have to stop again and starting now the southern plateau x and the highlands south of the central european plains the central european plain i will show you in the next map in page next page is another system of highlands and plateau x made up of old rocks the myth of spain the central uh, Massif of France, the highlands of Bohemia are all plateaus. Next, here you see highland plain. Is it? Here are the mountains which we have studied in the first topic. Okay, this is the south of this plain. This is the south, central south. Okay. Other highlands include the Vosges, uh, Jura, and the and and Venice mountains of France. Let's see in France. Let me take it more closer so that you can see it. This is the. Name of France. Can you understand? See, Vosges, Andrews, Jura Mountain. So these things we are studying. Let's do. All these uplands do not. Black Forest Mountains of Germany and the Ural uh, Mountains in the east. All the these uplands do not rises more than eight hundred meter from the sea level. For here, to here the distance is not more than eight hundred. As this is sea level, so uh, the mountains are from this level. If we count, it is not a more than eight hundred meter high. Some of these mountains are covered totally covered with forest. Next is Alpine Mountains. Where is Alpine Mountain? Let me show you Alpine Mountain. Now, this Alpine Mountain range that is formed by the Youngfall Mountains that lies from the this is Atlantic Ocean from the south of the plateaux that we have studied here. Plateaux from this plateaux from the south, from the coast of Atlantic Atlantic coast in the west. This is the west of Atlantic coast to the east. This is the Caspian Sea in the east. It is up to this much. This uh, highland is system is there. There are high peaks, deep valleys, rock shapes. Everything is there. Uh, Alps, which is the most important mountain range of Europe. System is a flat lies like an arc separating Italy and France. That also is here. Here it's Alps. This is the highest mountain range of this portion. France, Italy from France and Switzerland. This is Italy. This is France and this side Switzerland. It is dividing uh, it from them. Mount Blanc. Is the highest peak in in this peak? In this peak, Mount Blanc is the highest peak. Here, see, here we, I have told you a black forest is the highest peak. Uh, in the west of Sierra Nevada, extending in the southern Spain and the Pyrenees, extends in uh, Pyrenees. And which from a natural boundary here, it forms a natural boundary between France and Spain. Sri Lanka, mountain blank. Okay, so this Mutama, uh, Sierra Nevada, extending from southern Spain, and uh, this is. <laughs>
this one perineus this becomes a boundary of from italy and spain sorry not italy this is france france and spain the apennines run southward forming the backbone of italy and the apennines this becomes the backbone of italy sorry forming uh, across i thought it was like me okay the backbone of italy across the adriatic sea the uh, adriatic sea the running parallel to the apennines at the dynastic alps this alps um, this is adriatic sea this is my alps this is running extension towards the southward of the alvin slovenia croatia bosnia herzegovina serbia montenegro countries that formerly con uh, consist constituted yugoslavia this is yugoslavia but now it has been broken down the carpathian mountain carpathian mountains run eastwards from alps now we have i have shown you alps it's eastwards this is the eastwards this is the mountain carpathian mm eastwards from so the, from the east of alps between the black sea and the caspian sea so here it is black sea and black sea and what is our caspian sea we have lost our caspian sea no Yeah, is our Caspian Sea. So, it is the not this the Carpathianus mountain runs eastwards from the Alps between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea is the Caucasus mountain. See so here is the Caucasus mountain, which have the which in this mountain, I am Europe has the highest peak, that is Mount Elbrus. This is here. The Balkan mountains lie al almost in the south of River Don, while the Pennines and the backbone of United Kingdom. So this is United Kingdom. This is its backbone. Okay. And the Balkan mountain lie. This is the backbone of United Kingdom. Rivers. there are many rivers here there are many rivers that radiate out different direction of from this alpine mountains in the southern europe rivers are navigable and also inter these rivers are interconnected by canals for an efficient system of networks in europe these are several big towns and cities that have come up uh, beside this rivers and uh, the rivers plays an important role in the for the industries too uh, large rivers such as volga danube rhine flow through many countries and are considered that those are known as international rivers because they are running through many of the countries of europe lakes there are many fresh water lakes that is found in northern europe like lake uh, lake ladoga Onegia in Russia, Lake Vandrine, Vatrine, Malerine in Sweden, and many thousands of lakes are found here in Finland. All these are formed when ices have occurred, when water start from melting snow was left behind in the hollow scarp of the mountains. that was formed by the glaciers the lakes of southern europe now this is southern europe these are geneva geneva uh, constance in switzerland lakes combo and magori in italy these are the lakes in southern part of europe the caspian sea is also a lake as it is surrounded by land on all side as we have, as you have seen its water is salty because it is a large lake and therefore a lot of evaporation takes place during the dry season which increases the salinity of the water now 
tourism in Europe. Switzerland is the place where people want to visit from all of the world and it is known as paradise of the earth because of its beauty and its pictures villages numerous lakes the majestic alps and mountain ranges which are very beautiful tourists are drawn to this country from all over the world especially from america canada japan australia new zealand even india and so on to take a close look of this we can say that we indians also have such scenic beauty and pictures beauty in our country do you know what that is in kashmir as uh, switzerland have that europe have switzerland we too have our switzerland that is kashmir also in some places of nagaland and all these places if you go you can find that beauty up there okay things apart then the matterhorn matterhorn of switzerland is an iconic point because it is about 4448 meter high one of the highest mountains of the earth and uh, at the foot of this mighty peak lies the beautiful uh, charming village of zarmat which is known as horse drawn cars right because here still um, you can ride a cart which is drawn by the horses okay next is zang for it is uh, top of europe it is the terrace of ob- scientific observation it is about a height of 3500 454 meter high which the most popular experiences of switzerland it is also in switzerland only this is europe's highest train station and the longest glacier of europe great as this glacier which begins from here and it is also known as the unesco unesco have told that it is an heritage site so it is heritage next is interland which is between lake swan and the west and lake bernays bernays in the east it is a summer holiday spot for resorts are there and it gives breath giving people love it for the breath taking views of mountains and their beautiful flowers and gardens that is found here lorenz it is the hot destination for tourists for its blue lake surrounded by mountains and the medieval towns the uh, covered with bridges waterfronts its historic buildings marketplaces fountains next is lake geneva which is the largest lake alpine lake it overlaps the swiss french border and circles the shores of some of switzerland's most popular cities the city of geneva is located here from lake genia is geneva it's got the geneva uh, it is snow capped peaks are there mountains are covered with snow the lakes are surrounded by pomegranates parks gardens etc etc that is historic buildings um, historic things can be seen here so people go to these places then is rainfall rainfall Uh, it spans around 150 meter and uh, the it is the largest falls in central europe it is at skanfenhusen the best time to go in this place is during this time june and july when the snow are melting the falls swell in volume it is full of water and the views is very beautiful because you know, waterfalls are full of water and the falls gives a very nice view uh, there they have they have a boat trips in by the river so people enjoy them skiing is also very famous out there 
tourism and global warming gave an impact it put an very big impact in this environment and this has become an issue in recent times so uh, this mountain regions their sustainable tourism is becoming an objective both in winter and summer season since tourism is important also for these places for economic uh, poly- economically uh, steps have been taken that how they can preserve this landscape generations of this future generation can see it this, which is coming up from long time the government the people they are taking up steps so that they are not destroyed and people can enjoy this place various places coming year after Okay, completed.